Hi there, I'm Dean Heskin. We are tuning in to our podcast, The Secret War on Cash, where we discuss different issues that are taking place in our financial markets, in our economy, uh, just the going-ons of today. And it's been a lot of goings-on in the year 2023. My co-host is Chris Agalestos. Chris, thanks again for joining us. Yeah, good morning. Happy to be here. Happy to have you. Um, so it's been a good year. Um, good year in so much as that there's been a lot of information, a lot of um, ups and downs, if you will. The one issue that has been a kind of a consistent or, or constant issue has been the changes that have been taking place in our banking system. And they haven't been positive ones. Um, we've seen a, a huge move towards uh, consolidations with banks. We've seen a huge move towards uh, going into a more digital realm. Mm -hmm. The the we've seen a lot of uh, problems that probably five years ago we would never even dreamed would be problems. Um, and what I'm referring to, the we've had banks that have just arbitrarily closed accounts of people. Um, mm -hmm. people's money has been taken from their accounts by the bank and with little to no expl explanation. And even after relentless pursuit of them, you know, contacting their bank and trying to find out what has happened, it's been months and months, close to a year and maybe over a year in some cases with no resolution. Um, the, then we've seen, you know, some of the bank closures. We, I think we kicked off the year with, um, what was it? Silicon Valley bank and yeah. close, they're closing their doors and people standing in line. So a lot's been happening there. And I think you'd mentioned in an earlier podcast that, um, you know, the, the feeling people have, and you, as you talk to your clients and even with yourself, um, of that uncertainty, that instability, it, it, it's constant. And I yeah. think you'd mentioned how one of the remedies that, that you've, kind of employed, which I think sounds very good, is um, using a couple different banks in right. order to make sure you've got one for you keep your monies that maybe for more long term purposes or saving. And then you have your other bank that you use for more utilitarian purposes. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. what are you hearing from your customers, you know, as it relates to their feeling or their sentiments towards banks t these days? Well, I mean, they're uh, they're scared, you know, um, I, I think just most of us as humans, right? We, we want to try and control, um, as much of our, our world or our space as, as we can so that we can sleep better at night. And, you know, when they see these, uh, banks, um, getting more and more powerful and they realize that they, you know, they really can't win a battle with the bank. Um, or, I mean, it's going to take a, a lot of effort and a, and a lot of fighting, uh, that makes them makes them nervous and uh, and people don't like that you know we, we've got enough to worry about in our day-to-day -day lives right now we have to worry about are we even going to to be able to access our money when we need it or are they gonna you know turn off the spigot at at any time they they choose whether it's a mistake uh, and you have to you know prove yourself to be able to get access to your money again um, or if it's something a little bit more sinister and they go after certain political groups you know i was i just it just came up again yesterday i i had somebody um talking to me about uh you know the whole canadian trucker thing up in up in canada where you right. know the government stepped in and froze the accounts of the protesters so that they had no choice but to stop protesting and again you know some people say well that would never happen here in the u.s but a lot of things are happening here that um, we, we, you know, currently that we would have thought 10 years ago would never happen. So right. um, it's, you know, it's, there's just a, a general sense of uneasiness when it comes to trusting the, the banks and the banking system right now. Yeah. And, you know, again, as we're closing out 2023 or heading into 2024, and as we kicked off this episode talking about, you know, there, there's been a lot of activity in the whole banking sector over the course of, you mm -hmm. know, the last 12 months. Um, this article that you see on your screen, um, really, you know, from from the Wall Street on Parade, um, the title alone says a lot. And, it, you know, the well, I'll read it here quickly. If Wall Street's mega banks are safe and sound, as the Fed says, 
why do they need a half trillion dollar bailout facility at the New York Fed? And <laughs> that's what's kind of frightening. I mean, a bank, our entire life, the, not even our life, throughout from the inception, the whole concept of a bank was you have a place that you could s go safely put your money and feel secure and know that at some point, at some future point, when you needed to get that money out, you could do so. And yeah. that that concept, I think, is literally gone and probably gone forever. Mm -hmm. But this, the 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 fact that they have this half trillion dollar bailout facility at the New York Fed, how does a person rest assured or sleep at night knowing their money is safe in a bank when yeah. the banks themselves, you know, are in, literally anticipating the need for a bailout? Yeah. Well, don't don't worry, Dean, because the Fed tells us there's nothing to worry about. Everything's yeah. okay. Uh, but yeah, the first thing that comes to mind, um, gosh, I, I don't know how old I was. Probably, you know, six or seven years old. The first time I heard, uh, you know, actions speak louder than words. And sure. so, uh, especially in our you know political climate and whatnot, you know, people will say one thing and often do another. And I think that's what what investors really need to pay attention to here is what is actually happening behind the scenes, not the 15 second sound bites that, that you get from the mainstream media, but what is actually going on in the background and, you know, absorb as much of that information as you can to help, you know, protect yourself uh, against what's coming. Right. Right. Well, and the, the, the message that we've been sending for over 40 years as a company to people, and we'll continue to do so, this is, just yet another reason why diversification is key. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. you, you do not keep all your eggs in one basket. Have stocks, right. bonds, mutual funds, have some real estate, have some gold, have some silver. Uh, mm -hmm. Cash in a bank is fine, but keep your keep your uh, a good balance to just like your diet. Um, a, a balanced diet is what will keep you healthy. A balanced portfolio is what will keep you financially healthy. So it's going to be an interesting year, and it's definitely something that, you know, as in an earlier podcast, we discussed uh, James Rickards and some of his predictions uh, and his as it pertained to the banking system, it was not pretty. Um, and I <laughs> unfortunately think there's probably more truth to what he's um, truth and, and, and reality to what he's predict, predicting or projecting uh, than not. So anyway, well, Chris, thanks so much. Um, you know, for those of you tuning in, uh, the, there is a we offer an excellent report that gets into some of these issues with the banking system entitled Secret War, just like our podcast. Uh, if you'd like to receive a free copy of that, contact our office. You'll see the toll free number uh, in the description as well as our website. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope you're following us on, on this uh, podcast. And if you're not, please do so. Follow us on social media as well. Leave us some comments as we'd love to hear from you. Chris, appreciate you being with us today and look forward to talking with you more, maybe before the year's end, but especially in the year 2024. Yeah. Sounds good. Take care.